the fact that I made it without a, <laughs> like, with literally Missy calling me and me picking up a payphone when these, like, I, I'm going to be real. I ain't suck no, I ain't sell no, I ain't do none of that. These is out here selling. Mm. Can't none of these say they me. No, and I'm gonna tell you some. I'm gonna tell you some real shit too. People can say what they want about Irv. I don't even get into that because I was never signed to Murder Inc. But he honestly put me, in, put it on me still to this day. The recurrent like that. But Irv told me like in like '99 because I did I Cry first before I did um, put it on me. Actually, I did Somebody's Gonna Die for Romeo. Like he was putting me in positions to win, mm. and he like really told me like don't none of these. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Little Mo is in the building. Legendary. Yep. This is crazy. And you from Baltimore. Sheesh. Well, I live here. I've been here for 20 years. No, because people. Please don't do that. No, people from up north be getting on me. You was from New York first. Then you was, I was just like, that's why I was born and raised. But I came here, so I've lived here longer than anywhere. So, you know, you know everybody you said they from bro. here now. You I, can't do that. What? We killed Carmelo for that. You can't do that. No, I'm from here. All right, okay. You I wasn't born here. here. You from here. That way, I just said that. I was so like, I'm from here. here. Yeah. I thought you. I'm out you. here. I thought you. No, I was just trying to clear it up. No, because when I go to New York, they be like, "Yo, you abandon us." People really be having abandonment issues of when artists, you know, be like, "Nah, it's not where you from. It's where you at." And I'm at here. Facts. I'm out here. Now that's why I had to say it, that like, way. You know, like I think Melo did that because I think he lived in New York a little bit, and he was like. Talking about it like, nah, bro, you from here, man. We need that, especially Baltimore. We need all the presents we can get. And now nobody cares. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I love Melo. But no, they they did grind him up. They was like, you went up New York, now you looking like a weirdo. Yeah. Thanks, no, but no. he was always in the city. One thing about Baltimore, like, if you if you go somewhere and don't say you, like, from there or rep there, they going to grind you Facts. into sawdust as soon as you get back to the city. Facts. Because I feel like, like just the culture, first of all, mm -hmm. we get... <laughs> First of all, we got this this perception that nobody made it from Baltimore. I don't know why we got that perception. We got a perception of like nobody made it in the industry from Baltimore. So many people. Yeah. Because you know what it is? Is people be like, oh, they're not from Baltimore. They from Maryland. Because it'd be a lot of people from PG. It'd be a lot of people from, you know what I mean, different counties. We still but got some hitters from Baltimore. Real, real life. You, I would. See, I think people overlook people because we because they still there. Because I would yeah. say you. I would say Jess Hilarious. I would say Drew Hill. I'm gonna say Rough Ends. I'm gonna say uh, shit. Even if we Jada go, Pinkett, Jada Tupac. Pinkett. If we gonna go, let's go. I mean, I wouldn't say Tupac, but I would. You say he from Baltimore? That's yeah. He went to the what's the performing arts school? Yeah, that's what made him what he was, and so he had to play the role. Then once he got in the character, don't tell me when he started acting like Bishop. He was not from here. He teed you got, up. Right, you got that boy. Dead we got, we got so many. I think like, we got legends, but they get give overlooked. Give him his things. Oh, Cause I used to think I was Tupac. Oh, and I got on the face. But I used to think I was Tupac, and mm. that's honestly why I came out here. But that's a whole nother story. Wait, what you mean? We'll get into it. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get this interview popping, man. Yeah. Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill. Uh, Mario. Sheesh, my bad. That's a, that's a, that's another one. Mario. 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 I knew since he was a Javante. Tank. That's Dead way. Sheesh. Let's get into it. There's a lot of people from the city that's oh, winning. There's a lot of people. Let's get into this podcast, man. What's mm -hmm. popping? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. Oh, man. Hey, for the month of March, I told y'all we're doing it for our powerful woman. Um, This is something I've I've never done this before. We're going to drop all women in the month, month of March. Why not start it with one of the legends? I mean, legendary voice in a time where the voice is over overshadowed and and we ain't talking about the voice no more. we talking about writing and all this other stuff the tools on the everything mm -hmm. legendary voice legendary personality i mean listen y'all ain't even looking at my no she radio star tv star 
Oh, music wow. industry Thank star, you. Baltimore legend, worldwide legend. Lil Mo is in the building. What up? Thank you. Nah, 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 that was a nice that. introduction. I appreciate it. Nah, so I don't. I usually don't even do intros. I don't. I don't it's like that's honestly the best um, part because it lets you know what um, what people think about you. Mm. So like that's make. Thank you. I appreciate it. I ain't even drop none of the accolades because like that's just stuff that like. Happened along the way. It's dope for sure. I think yeah. you got nominated for like what, 12. How many nominations you got? I got girl nominated for a lot of stuff. Did yeah. I win them? Damn, all you that. won a couple things though. Yeah, but I don't even. I lost all those awards. I don't even know what half the stuff is. Okay. I've never been into stuff like that. I mm. don't know why because I have ADHD real bad, like my kids. So I don't. Wait, what does to... that mean? ADHD? People say that. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So back when I was young, it was just sit your ass down, you wild, because okay. I can't sit still. So with ADD and ADHD, in this time period means you can't sit still. Okay. And but there's a reason why you can't sit still. So I just started doing music to keep me calm. Yo, Mo, ain't this? Cr- I know you can uh, understand this, bro. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? I was watching this um documentary on Netflix. I think it was called Dope. And a mm-hmm. lady had got locked up for passing um dope through the umbilical umbilical cord to her child, and they mm-hmm. arrested her for um like. What is it called when you pass something to somebody else? You sell it to somebody else? I forgot what it's called. But they Ooh. arrested her for, for giving dope to her child, child, her child through the um, umbilical cord. Jesus. But she was saying, basically, she was in her interview, she was like, yo, you know, I was it was reasons I was doing that. Mm-hmm. I was depressed. But I didn't really have no help, things like that. Gotcha. And what I she told her therapist or the doctor or whatever, and they arrested her. And she was like, it's a shame that the first thing they did was arrest me instead of getting me help. That part. But nowadays... Anything like that, any traumatic, like traumatical uh, things, whatever you go through, they get you help. They yeah. get mental illness, you need help. They get, get you a therapist and things like that. Mm-hmm. I wonder, like you seeing kind of both cultures, mm-hmm. was that the same with you when you was coming up? Like a lot of things they judge you for, they they, they point the finger to you, and nowadays you're seeing so many people getting help for it when you didn't get the help. Yeah. I think what happens is is that everything shifts. But I know with me coming up in the 90s, like my kids say, the late 1900s, they swear that was slavery and the medieval times. But if you were black, if you were a woman, and if you had to be independent, there was no such thing as mental illness. You just had to deal with it. Mm. So there were a lot of things that I had to fight through because they just expected black women to be so strong. But I realize now it was a lot of PTSD Mm. that I suffered with. And you get a therapist, no, you better go to church. Let the Lord heal you from it. So what's chic now was taboo then. Mm. So there wasn't a lot of black people going to therapy. Now we encourage it. My kids, all of my children, well, all my sons have therapists. Like I encourage it because you will not grow up. And then when you get to your big age, you blame everything in your past for your problems. Mm. If you don't want to talk to me, if you can't, push through it we'll find somebody neutral that doesn't know you so I, like i specifically have to target therapists that don't know me mm. that be thinking oh i'm gonna just talk because they're not supposed to tell because if you tell that's against a hippo law and then i'm gonna sue your ass right. no, i'm just kidding but no, it's like right. therapy <laughs> i encourage it mm. i do it and i know growing up that wasn't a thing we literally would go to church and try to fast and pray things away but god put therapists here for a reason so back then there were no titles to it. But I think people, even though people don't really care no more, they walk past and stuff like that, I think we're more cognizant and empathetic to people are having feelings. But honestly, this is a generation that don't feel. So it's kind of weird. You think we don't feel? I feel like this is a generation that feel too much. I think this is a generation. I'm just speaking from my point of view as a mom. This generation talk too much. Yeah, because even in the Bible it says this is a weaker and wiser generation. So y'all smart as shit, but y'all can't take shit. Mm. Like not trying to be funny. Like when my kids, like people, are like don't talk to kids like that. I'm like, why? You want me to talk to them in an inside voice? Then they go outside. And somebody tell them to shut the fuck up, and then they start crying and want to kill everybody. Mm. Or do I tell you, yo, sit your ass down, and you see how that makes you feel, so that when somebody says it outside to you, you know not to naturally react. Be like, oh, okay, they just saying it. You you have to teach people. See, I teach my the way I'm, I'm raising my children. The to, tonality, emotionality, passion, like everything is different around my way. So, yeah, it's crazy because like I feel like as as good as the space we're in now, mm-hmm. I feel like we we gotta have some type of balance because we, yeah, we talk about corporal punishment, right? When you beat your kids and things like that. I came up getting beatings. I and, got whoopers, right? And I honestly think 
it made me better, to be yeah. honest. And I people like, that's help. a I slave think... mentality. They used to whoop slaves. I said, no. They used to do that in front of people to put fear. Mm. Like, let's get to it. You feel me? Yeah, they because, would beat you, like, embarrass you. So... And be weird. And yeah. they was doing that, breaking niggas in front of niggas. But honestly, what is niggas doing now? That's, child, please don't make me Talk go there. About it. Nah, like, nigga, like, so, you see what the police just did to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can give me some one. You see what they did? Like y'all doing the same thing. So what you what you expect? Back then they come fight back. Now we teeing up. Yeah, now we gonna burn this whole city down. We gonna riot. We gonna post it on social media. Now all y'all going to jail. You, you gotta pull your own poison. I know you're a legend, but like, but pull just a little bit because I tell you when to stop. I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I'm just kidding. Come on, man, it's wine. I got it just for you. I don't even drink wine. All right, that's good. Right, me right. neither, child. It's Sunday. He don't had a prayer, but no, it's just like. I, that's why I don't judge nobody. I just be like, like, I ain't ever hold you. I ain't never had to give my daughters no whoopings, but my sons, mm. I don't have to whoop them. I just got to put the fear of God in them. <laughs> like, I will beat you the fuck up, my, my nigga. My mom used to kick like, my ass. Like, yeah, my mom used to kick mine too. Like, it is what it is. It made me a better person. And I never, like, oh, she doesn't love me because she, like, beat me with extension cords. Like, now that's, like, a, a kid, you know, you walking to school looking all weird, but. There be some kids. Nah. I be like, child. Sometimes you might have to throw a chair. Bro, I used to go tell me go get the the uh, this, this old school stories that we a hear switch? in real life. Yeah, off the tree, the smallest one. Don't and wet the... it. See, I ain't had to. You ever got it. a whooping out the tub? I was about to say I got a whooping out the tub. That's the was... worst ever. I think it got to a point where where whoopings was almost like, yo, what kind? Of... Like it was like, yeah, can you survive <laughs> it? it? Oh, that's all you got, man. My mother beat me with an iron a iron cord. Your mother's a terrorist. Bro, I used to, it's, it's crazy because like I think about it now, it's terrible and they probably judging us, but I don't care. They so be like, hot. I was so naive. I got in trouble in school, right? Mm -hmm. My mom said me, go take a bath. She's like, don't even worry about it. She's like, it's cool. It's, it's cool. But I'm thinking about it, like, why was I, why was I naive? She says, go take a bath, get ready for bed or something like that. Yeah. I get out the tub. She's like, come here, come here. Like, you know how to put your comb? Just come here. I'm wet. <laughs> she beat me with a leather belt. I mean, they going I mean, I'm probably <laughs> give my mom's like that's pro, that's that's post traumatic stress disorder. Yo, that's, now they're trying to lock you up for a bye. Bet you ain't never do what you did again. Nah, I probably did. I was bad. Boys is different. Let's 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 all right. So let's get into the interview. We we just we ain't even get into it. Cause yet. I want to whoop um, my ass so bad, but he's 14. I got this um Child. this icebreaker thing I do with everybody right oh, before I start Lord. the interview. All right. Oh lord. So I just want to see. I thought our ice was already broke. No, Nigga, we talking me. about whooping, school, mm -mm. ass out, what the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. Gay, all right. We, we still breaking the ice. We need to oh, okay. Get, you know what I'm saying? We're, we need to get to the thick of things. But all right, let's, let's go. This is some easy stuff. I'm going to say some things. I just want to get your the first thoughts about it. Okay. All right. Um, right. Let's say, when we thinking about the biggest difference between music in the 90s and music in the 2000s. Not 20, not 2020s, but like 2000s. Up until 2010. The biggest difference? Yeah, what do you think? Everything. Mm -hmm. But everybody that's from the 90s knows that the music was going to change. Like, we could take it back further than that. The A&Rs used to be musicians and grew up around music. Once they started hiring people that was, oh, my nephew, he run the label. Why? Mm. They ain't played a keyboard, ain't never grew up in nobody church, ain't never sang a note, ain't never wrote a song, because then nepotism took over, but that's a whole nother discussion. When you say nepotism, what you mean? People was hiring their kids, I hired my son to do things, but he can actually do what I put him in a position to do. I mean, ain't that's, the, ain't that's why we work, though, honestly. Yeah, but if you can't do the job, you know how many people You're was teaching. tricking out budgets? And none of the albums was ever coming out, but they was related to somebody up at the label. See, I got, I still got some trauma going on. For, I was like, wait, how you got them ass working? And they don't even know how to fucking audit. Like, let me see them books. All right, stay right there. Hold that, hold uh, that, hold that. I'm going to come back to it. I'm gonna, that was probably a bad question because there's a lot to talk about in that. Yeah, because right, so I'm, I'm an OG, so I'm get ready. I'm getting quick thoughts real quick. Okay, so um, reality TV, what you think about it? I love it. Love it? Ready I go. think it's fake. You think it's fake? Like they be hype well, everybody. I never understood why people want to tune into something because people fighting. Show me how to get some money. Come on, you know why people like that thing. That's, right? that's weird to me. If you fighting at your big age, you're weird. Like but go join the army. My negativity nigga. sells though. You know that. Not in my house. I mean, not in your house, but the world. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. If you go look at the numbers, nobody's tuning in. They're tuning to the Super Bowl. Positivity actually sells more. We just push negativity more. Let's be honest. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen. 
as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. That's hard. I like that. that it was did. Bar. That like, was for real. I, I, hey, that, that gave me a little if, bit of If it did, it, how come Joel, how many people, go? can you Google how many people Joel Osteen got at his church? Mm. And go show me how many concerts half these niggas that's in jail. Let's let's get it. Joel Osteen sells out his church. Let, like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. All the mega churches, they faithfully have, what, 30,000 people a Sunday? No, hey y'all come to my church. All he do is get on there, smile, no mustache, looking well. Yeah, you know I mean, they still gonna support. Now That's positivity. Like, he gets on there, talks to his inside voice. But get on there, yo, I'm gonna knock you out, bitch. Talk about everything. But how many people? Forty-five a week. So okay, cool. Hype, but forty-five thousand dollars, forty-five thousand people a week, right? Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's really that's great. Forget cool. Cool. That's, that's great. Amazing. It's amazing. But if Joe Osteen. Go out and do some crazy stuff right now. That's why news sells. Yeah, they'll tune in. It'll be way more than 45,000 people that's going to tune in. It's going to be millions of people because they love seeing somebody fall. They love seeing something happen to somebody. That's why we got, that's literally why we got news. Everything about the news only show a bunch of shit that's going to break your heart. It's like, yo, this shit is sad. Mental illness. So People right. love their feelings hurt and they love to see stuff that they ain't supposed to be looking at. Cool, we gonna. Hey, this is this is gonna be great. It's, and I say this last time, right? This is gonna be great. All like, right. uh, cause I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you what you need. Let me, child. let me, let me get through the icebreaker. Ready, right. yo, how do you feel about it? just? Cause we gonna, we might, we might touch on some of these stuff later on. Wait, what you say? Radio. How do you feel about radio? For real? <laughs> Thank God for podcasts. Radio played out. Yo, this might be, am I lying? No, you're not. But with, sure, ask hey, this, ask this, you. It's a whole generation. Ask them make one like say radio. What the, nobody cares. Hey, I'm with you. That's and why I, we laugh because like when last when we got in the car on the ride here, when I got a ride, when I get on the airplane, I'm not tuning into the radio. I'm putting on the movie. When I lay, I'm not saying, hey, can you touch turn the dial down? I'm plugging up my aux cord and I'm listening to my streaming site. Radio is dead. All right, cool, 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 cool. Death of uh, uh, radio. Death of terrestrial radio. This. There's some stations that still lit, and those are friends of mine. But the rest of it, struggling, okay. baby. God bless the dead. Missy Elliott, the goat, the goat, uh, the president of the goat university. <laughs> that was hard. Okay, Hot Boys. Like what I think of it. First thing that come to mind. Two brown girls that wasn't expected to make it have one of the biggest records in history. Mm, I love it. If you had to choose personally, before all the hype, Superwoman 1 or Superwoman 2? Superwoman 2. Ooh. Okay. Because okay. I knew Superwoman 1 was going to go over people's heads. That's a songwriter's so, like favorite I song. I like they would be the ones that you really love. And they had a sample in it. So that was an issue. Because okay. the lyrics to it, honestly, was more lit than Superwoman 2. But that's what I'm asking but the, you. But the put together of Superwoman 2, the way it came together, it was like, it wasn't for me, but I took it. Mm. They said it wasn't going to be a hit. Still trending. Like, I just saw them shaking it. I was like, oh, my God. This song is older than my kids, and we still outside. Play with something safer. When I know, I know. Wait, you, you oh, you you just seen that? I just saw it. My son sent it to me. You they was like, and, uh, I think, uh, not Brill. Bryce was like, oh, we been did that. You, what? You did, but do you know how many doors that's open for me posting it? Literally was on the line with DJ Crazy. I was like, now I was going to hit him up before, and I was like, I don't look like I'm in this generation I know he was like queen I was like wait they know who I am hey, look at this I did I not real live goosebumps are you serious I'm di- what like cause this is the generation that doesn't care my son be like mom you're old but I was like I'm not listening to my kids no more cause when I see these young kids be like wait what this was old we been did this and so I throw it up and it go I was like wait I'm about to go viral again child I'm gonna learn to dance Boy, you and crazy. work with the producers and do something they was like let's go I said say less no you crazy okay. oh man alright so Last one. Mm-hmm. You got to rank these three things from top, from greatest to least that you care about, right? Okay. What would it be, number one for you, and what would the last one be? Love, loyalty, respect. What got to come first? 
respect. Mm, wow. Because if you respect me, you'll be loyal. And if you're loyal to me, that means you love me. Mm. You can't be loyal without love. But, see, that's the order I put it in because respect is real heavy. If I, if I respect you, they don't have to like you. Mm. But you got to respect me. You ain't got to love me, but you got to respect me. I'm not asking for loyalty. You don't got to sleep in the bed with me. You ain't none of my kids. You ain't got to give me no, but you got to respect me. Mm. Money is earned. Respect, like money, you can make that. That respect is, I realize, that's why I came back in the game at this big age, child, because I want my respect. Mm. And that kind of goes into the interview, right? So we want to start like, okay. five times now. But no, nah, so. You said you came back in the game yeah. to get your respect. Yeah. From the outsides of it, right? Taking my bias out of it, because I know Lil Mo and I love Lil Mo, right? But I understand that I might not represent the world. You do. So you will have your respect then, if I represent the world. Opinions. Most people always say, people have, opinions like asshole, everybody has one. But I always say opinions only satisfy those who make them. So if I have an opinion on something and I don't, if I sit up here and say, I don't care about the, I don't what nobody say, if somebody respect me, I care about what you say. That's the world. I, I'm in my own world anyway. Mm. So there's, there's the earth, there's the people and there's the people that I care about. So if you don't respect me, I don't, I don't even hear, see, feel, think about your opinion. You feel me? That's that's where I'm at in my life. I think once you turn 40, you just like, you know, people are like, I don't give a fuck. You give a fuck because you said you did. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck because you ain't going to never hear me say I don't. Right. I'm just only going to rock with people that respect. I respect. So, so I respect you. That's facts. That's facts. I like that. But let's not get, I don't want to, because there's a lot of growth here, right? Yeah. But I want to go through the journey. Gotcha. Because it was a lot of feelings that you had to learn this somewhere, right? You had to arrive at this little more somewhere right so when yeah. i say you said you you just said it i came back into the game because i got to get my respect so clearly you feel like there's a void there somewhere yeah right so my thing is what, what i was going to say is outside of myself right mm -hmm. i look at and i was talking to a couple of my friends about this i um shout out to jay shout out to alex i was saying like you know you look at the music and it's almost like the music was bigger than your name mm-hmm and I was wondering, do you did you think that have you was that a thought that you ever even thought about? Because you think about the superstars, their name is more important than the music. For mm -hmm. you, it's kind of the opposite. Because, and I also hear people say, "Oh man, people give me a lot of flowers now," which I I'm like, "Oh God, Jesus, am I about to die, y'all? Lord, I bind the death angel." Because when people, I'm a person when you start showing me too much love. I, I fall back because mm. I don't I'll be like no I don't want you to love me that much but then I was just like it comes to a point where you have to respect that they're genuinely people that love you that respect you that grew up and I was just like oh, okay because me I literally everything I did was just like oh, I'm gonna try it and I always wind up breaking records but I don't be caring enough to like people's like you never got the respect you never got the respect or the accolades or things you deserve I said because I didn't want them Mm. I've seen people get lost in that. And when they don't win what they got nominated for, they go into depression. Mm. So I've been depressed. And I was like, ooh, I was depressed over things that was going on over here. These people are depressed because they didn't win something or because they had to do some ungodly things and it still ain't come out how they planned it out. Me, I was just like, I'm going to go in here and sing this. And next thing you know, oh, y'all, they have the song to play so many times. We have to retire the record because they think y'all are cheating. Mm. Oh, okay. But I was like... Oh, that's what's up. I was just like, that's what's up. Mm. Is that a is that a defense mechanism though? Is yeah. that kind of being scared to get overly emotional about something? I'm not afraid of anything. I was just like, this is my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Cause I feel like this is like the only thing I've ever done besides braid ha do hair. I asked that because like you know like you get into music and of course these are the accolades on paper, right? Not yeah. not people, but on paper and some to some people that's what make somebody great whoa because beyonce broke the amount of grammys oh because they got this many accolades on paper yeah. that's what makes you shine so i would assume that an artist would want that because yeah. that helps rise the notoriety of your name but you never wanted that no because the dedication that that you have to have to it i know the behind the scenes stuff i'm like nah i'm cool mm. i was cool 
I don't trust people as is. So, like, one, I'm a, let's take Beyonce. I've seen her re- literally working since she was like 15, 16, mm-hmm. when we were all going out on tour. And I'm just like, she, the reason why she is, people be like, ah, like let me see you get out there and shoot 15 in heels and, and r- like running around the world mm-hmm. and having to deal with all of this stuff that's going on. Oh, you don't deserve this. Okay. She, and she never says a mumbling word. So then people make up things they would have thought she would have said. Oh, I think she's mad because she didn't win this. I done won everything in the goddamn, you feel me? Mm. So why would I be mad? Y'all lucky I showed up to this. Mm. Let's, let's start there. Because as soon as she stepped in, the ratings went up. Keep your awards. It's not what the people say. It's what God writing down. You feel me? Because mm. I can, like anybody can make up. What they used to give us trophies for spelling bee. Where is that today? No facts. Like is, this stuff don't mean like. Can't were, take, were you always like that, or you? Is that somewhere you arrived recently? And when I say recently, maybe ten years. I, I always didn't give a. Mm. Like I don't know why. I think it was because, I think it's a complex and it is a defense mechanism, because like honestly, even with my therapist going back to my child, I would never get picked for stuff. I was always the shortest, or you know what I'm saying. But the never nobody ever really knew how thorough I was. Mm. Then, when I always this is why we say. Once it take, it always take that one person to give me a chance. Then all of a sudden, everybody think you hot. Mm. Missy gave me a chance. Mm. Then everybody start thinking I was hot. So you get one. Per- it, all it takes is one person to vouch for you, and and, and you could run around the globe. Damn, because I would. Think- and she didn't even like. She wasn't doing interviews. Like we wasn't doing interviews together. All she did was put me on a song and had me running around the globe with her. And that's how I got to work with Jack. Tour with fifty. Like I've been on every tour that I wanted to go. I was just like, oh shoot. And I was always either the only female R and B singer when we was touring, or there's been times I've toured with rappers and I was the only girl. Mm-hmm. So I could fit in the room and take over where vultures is around. Mm-hmm. So it was just like you have to. That's where that. I would say that's where that north, that that up north, come from. Where it's just like, I gotta go get it. Mm. I gotta kill it. and I gotta eat it. And I gotta take it back home. Like it's a different mindset. It, but it's crazy because that so many times we see that breed monsters and and not like mean, but like people that can't stop. When like I was never chose, so now I'm gonna make y'all choose me every single time. You would think that that would be like a care or desire in your heart. Like, nah, because I never was chose, I'm going to make sure y'all choose me every single time. I ain't going to stop. And then I love when they choose me and I get to tell them no. Mm. That way. That's why I be telling people. And I told you, I was like, I love the underdog because I see stuff in people. I'll be like, somebody saw something in me. Mm. And somebody gave me a chance. I ain't have no cousins. I got family that's in the industry, but because John P. Key does gospel, I'm out here, got tattoos, goals all in my mouth, colorful braids. What could he have actually done for me? But the fact that people's like, Missy's like, wait, John is your uncle? When people find out, like, wait, what is the go? Go and take, like, we used to sit, then you realize, we used to sit at his rehearsals just to get a glimpse and just to hear a chord and a key change. We used to go to his concerts and be late for school, get fired from jobs just to be around. I didn't know that then. Then I just see, I was always around greatness. So just because you don't get chose for the stuff, child, half of this stuff is paid for, PR ran, or, you know what I mean? Smoke it, it's, mirrors. Yeah. Just That's show. why I'm like, be careful what you get chosen for, T. Mm. I don't want to get chose for everything, but honestly, I've got to the point that I'll be like, this is what I want. If I, I don't put expiration dates on things because it's not, my, it's not my time in any way, but I say, this is what I want. And if I don't achieve a goal by a certain time, then I'll either come back to it. Or I'll find a new goal to achieve. Like people be giving up. I never gave up. Mm. So that's why I was like, I have to come back from respect. Niggas already know I can sing. And what a million? There's millions of people that can sing me under this chair, under the bus, under the rug. I want to say millions. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, some people. No, there's some people that can sing. But there's some people that can sing, but now there's some people that nobody never heard of. I'd be like, yeah. top five underrated. If you, you you little mo, you give them the platform. Everybody, man, I just saw this. Is not even my blood niece, but we was just at CIAA the other week, and her name is Alicia, and. She's my, like, I saw her literally grow up. And she sang the Black National Anthem during the CIAA weekend. And then I was just like, dang. Mm-hmm. I I hope you pass everything I've ever done. Mm-hmm. But she was around. And she's humble. So I was like, oh, she already gone. If you stay humble from the beginning, them humble beginners mean everything. Then when people start coming out acting weird, people ain't going for that no more. That's what I love about this generation. Come out acting like a weirdo. You're canceled. What? Yeah, canceled. I love, I love the fact that, like, Cancel culture is real, 
But I was talking to somebody. I was asking like, how I used you? to be. I used to have this thing called a committee. Baby, they used to drag because we would, and people's like, that makes you a hater. And I was like, no, I'm not a hater. That's weird. Didn't I see now you have cancel culture? And I was like, wait, I was doing that in 2012. Yeah. They used to drag me for like, you can't do that. You get to, I was like, this is weak. Yeah. But I realized you can't do that. So you then you can, have to make a fake page. No, you can speak. Now, you, people got fences. I know. I know. <laughs> people got fences. You'd be surprised who got a fence to child. I, think, I feel like everybody got one. Everybody. I need one. Donald Trump don't have one. He used his main page. He's wild. That's what I was going to say. I feel like... Um, He's wild. I feel like, and nowadays, if you are yourself, you don't have to worry about cancel culture, in my opinion. Like, for example, Boosie ain't getting canceled. Yeah, because he got time in. He him. And everybody... See, everybody that knows Boosie... Like, if he gets canceled, then that's on him. He knows he can either... Don't say that. But he's from that... I'm telling you, people from down south, he don't mean no harm. Like, Trick Daddy not getting canceled. From down south, <laughs> but, but like that, but that's everybody that's from like that. That's my era. I'm like they don't mean no harm. Fifty ain't getting canceled. He's not getting canceled. You, like because <laughs> everybody, everybody knows he. But he had to go through that period. Everybody don't know from the beginning. People, oh, he was called a bully. Remember they wasn't letting him in stuff. Mm. Then get rich at die trying came out, and everybody was, oh my god, I, I love you, Fifty Cents. Yeah, Fifty yeah. Cents. They was putting the <laughs> S on that mother. You affirm me, but there was a time when he did how to rob. They was giving him a hard way to go. Mm. Then he passed everybody. Mm. Sometimes you got past them. So you were saying that, I asked you, what was the biggest difference from the night music in the 90s and music in the 2000s? You said everything. Everything. Nobody nobody wants to rehearse. They just go out there and be sounding a mess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they used to make us, re see, we used to have rehearsal. Rehearsal. Before you went on tour, you rehearsed. You didn't just post up a, a quick 30 second, one minute video. You acting like you dancing in the mirror. That's why I'm just like, yo, go look at people's old shows and go look at people's shows today. Nobody's. But not even today. I'm thinking. Because they're becoming so fast and success. They don't even go through. We still have to go to artist development yeah. where they sat down, told you how to how to do body language, how to da 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 da. da you know what I mean? Now yeah. these artists just be saying anything. They be tweeting anything like, uh, who, who wants to suck my toes? Like weird shit. But honestly, yo, as crazy as it sounds, weird. as crazy as it sounds though, artist development, right? It definitely can help. But I feel like it definitely helps. Nowadays though, I feel like more people get lit by being themselves. And when you have artist development, it's kind of like they, they come in talking radio. They they radio train. It's like people aren't genuine. Like now people are themselves and they get canceled a lot. And they're they going to jail. They're getting canceled and they're all going, they're all getting Rico charges. Name artists from the nineties who locked up for the Rico. I'll wait. Yeah, I mean, I wait because they was letting people talk too much. They letting people talk too much and do too much, and they hanging out too much. Do your job, take your ass home. Mm. That's the difference between the nineties and the now. These people want to be outside too much. And I'm like, what y'all shouting? Like, what happened to y'all? Y'all want to come out and just start shooting at everything, mm. start rooting, like just doing wild stuff. You can't do that. You're under the spot. Like whether you think you're social media famous, a reality TV star, a music recorder star. People, there's somebody that's looking up to you and somebody wants to become you and somebody wants to take your spot. Mm. Always walk with excellence. So what, so how do we introduce this podcast thing now? Because now we see interviews like Irv Gotti on Drink Champs and that was crazy. As crazy as it was though, be, be, be careful. As mm -hmm. crazy as it was, that still was his story, right? And I feel like everybody should be able to tell their story and be transparent because that's what makes, that's what makes us, us fall in love with you outside of the music, outside of everything that you got going on. We fall in love with who you are as a person. I agree. And the relatability. So it's like on one side, it's like we're talking too much, right? Mm. But on the other side, it's like, I mean, if you don't talk, then how we know who you are? Because you have to take in consideration if people care about what you're saying. This generation doesn't know. This generation, my son is 14. If I... I saw, let me tell you a case in point. I saw somebody hold up a picture. They have those things where they go around asking people questions. They hold it, They held up a picture of Harriet Tubman. They asked the girl, who is this? She was like, I don't know. She was like, what do you want me to say? He's like, who is this? She said, Michael Jordan. Damn. She probably was joking. She was dead serious. I asked my kids, I asked them about something. They'd be like, who? And I was like, yo, every 10 years. So if we was popping back in 99, it's 2023. We mm. don't went through a whole pandemic. You feel me? Yeah, facts. This generation don't care about the past. It's, they want to know what you're doing now. So and then what you're doing for us. 
that's crazy that you said that because every 10 years, that's what I wanted to talk about, right? Because I feel like you came that out. That was every year, child. Yeah, you came out in like 98, 99. Actually, my first album came out in 2000, 2000, but I was testing the waters in 98, 99. Exactly. So that's where I wanted to go, right? So like yeah. in the 90s, every artist that I've seen in a, that, that dropped the debut album in the 90s, mm-hmm. compared to the artists that I've seen drop a debut song in the 2000s, not 2010 to 20, right? Yeah. You see the change, right? Mm-hmm. You can see like in the 90s, it was predominantly like R&B, like yeah. real R&B. And then 2000s came and it was more so, we was getting in rap, we started to make a presence really heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, dancing peaked in mid-2000s, like 2005, 2006. Yeah. It peaked, but it ain't really hit until like 2012 with the Migos, I think. Y'all could, don't quote me on the dates. 21? 2012. So like, yeah. I wanted to ask you, Cause I wasn't, I think I don't think I was paying attention that much. But me just doing my research, I was like, when I think of artists that 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 de- debuted in two thousands, right? Mm-hmm. You, Keisha Cole, I think oh four. Uh, like, it was like every Carl three. Thomas maybe, but none of them. We don't never be like legends, right? Again, well, I'm speaking for the, the masses, right? You said you came back to get your respect. Mm-hmm. When we, when it comes to R and B in that time, it's like. We don't really say legends. We put legends behind people like Lil Wayne. You might hear T.I. Like Lil Wayne was 99, but still was, was most of his time was 2000s. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But when we talk about the artists that debuted in the 90s, we say legendary like Mari J. Blige, mm-hmm. uh, shit, Tony Braxton, um, shit, we can uh, Usher. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, when we, it's a, it's a difference between the, the type of music that was being made in the 90s and then mm-hmm. the 2000s. What was the biggest difference if you could take us back? Because I'm curious. Um, see, a, a lot of those people that you named, like Usher was down with LA and Babyface. So like a lot of those people, Mary J. Blige was associated with Puff. Like she was from that, not New Jack Swing. What was that era? Bad, like that bad boy era. Mm-hmm. So when she came out, nobody else was out. Then Faith came out. You know what I'm saying? Monica, so she was, yeah, oh. but Monica was down with Dallas also. She was from that ATL crew. So when I came out, I came out from the mix. So everybody knew me from singing, but then I was working with rappers and then I sang R&B, but my name is a rapper name. So I was kind of like, what the f*** does she do? Mm. Like people was really trying, like, are you a rapper? Like I said, I'm everything. Mm. I can rap, I can sing, I can write, I can't dance, and I don't play no instruments. So it was just like, I just created my own, like, I had braids. I remember they was like, you, they tried to do this other hairstyle on me. I was like, it's not going to work. I had tattoos. Nobody wasn't doing that. I was like literally different. So now when I see the artists of today, I'll be like, it, it makes me feel so good to see people like no this. I love to see girls tatted up, tatted on their face with a prom dress and some J's on. Mm. And, and, you know, just like singing like this from their heart and from their soul. I love the scissors, the summer walkers that like they really break it. Oh, that she just had three babies. And, mm. and then she going to go on tour. Like, I love that stuff. So there was no difference. It was just like a lot of people. You could tell who was controlled and who and some of us who was just like, you ain't going to tell me what to do. It's going to, we going to win. That makes sense now. I think it was almost like, I ain't going to say you crawl so they can walk. You crawl so the people now can run. If you think about it. I starve so they can eat. Nah, Because niggas still owe me money. That, and that's what I'm thinking about. Because like, even Let's then, get in. Even then, it's like all, all of the, the people in, in that era... Yeah. Again, it just it, it it seemed like it birthed a new era. It was like yeah. we had Bow Wow, Romeo, Sammy. That's then the Soldier Boy came, but even Soldier Boy was able to walk. So the Migos, could, you know what I'm saying? Like it was yeah. like every generation. That's was why he'd be different. like, "Wait, d- honestly, did you see what Soldier Boy said? Wait a minute, y'all talking about Drake? Nah, facts. He was like, that was my whole song. But a lot of people won't give you credit for that. So sometimes you got to speak up for yourself. Mm. So I would say with my generation, we started, there was a point where we were told we were silenced, but then a lot of people started speaking up because you're right. A lot of things were PR control. The questions were sent in and this is what you could ask. Now we just like, yo, what's up? Mm. I want to know. You know what I mean, I want to know what the fuck, like what's going on Thanks. now. You, you can be more. Let me tell you something. Early 2000s, they would never have none of these artists in the same room as some of the things like they literally separate, but now that we blend together, that's why honestly everybody superstars. Mm. Like, so you say it makes you happy, right? Mm-hmm. And I think, of course, like in totality, that will make you happy. It should make you happy. Mm-hmm. But in those moments when I don't know, nobody around and you by yourself, you know what I'm saying? That don't ever hurt a little. Like, man, it's kind of unfair. You feel me? Like I was, I was the one really in the streets, and and I really set the tone and 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 was able. 
was out here. You get what I'm saying? For out these the radio people, stations. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you're, you don't really get the shine that even the ones today get. And mm-hmm. you was the one that really took the first feet in the fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that don't never, like, bother you at all? Outside of you being, I know you happy for people. Yeah. But I for you and your career. I don't be caring. I be like, that's what's up. Mm. Because the things, the things that make me happy and that I care about, I don't even want the world to know. The fact that I made it without a, like, with literally Missy calling me and me picking up a payphone. When these, like, I, I'm going to be real. I ain't suck no, I ain't sell no, I ain't do none of that. These is out here selling. Mm. Can none of these niggas say they me? No, and I'm gonna tell you some. I'm gonna tell you some real shit too. People can say what they want about Irv. I don't even get into that because I was never signed to Murder Inc. But he honestly put me in, put it on me still to this day. The recurrent like that. But Irv told me like in like '99 because I did I Cry first before I did um, put it on me. Actually, I did Somebody's Gonna Die for Romeo. Like he was putting me in positions to win, mm. and he like really told me like don't fuck none of these niggas. Yeah, that's so that's why I don't care. That's why when I see somebody win, I be like, like I want you to win, but I hope your winning is organic mm. and not s- you had to sell something because that's not going to last. Uh, that's so tricky, man. Because it's like, as a woman, you could say that. As a man, I feel like I can never say that because like, who are, us, who, who are we to judge how somebody's getting it, though? Cause if you was, cause yeah, cause why do we even care? Not even that, but like if you was in a position where you had to do whatever you had to do for your child to eat, you gonna do whatever you gotta do. I'm not sucking nobody's dick for my child to eat. God will make a way. Jehovah mm. Jireh, He provides, mm. and God ain't gonna put you in no position where you have to compromise your integrity to eat. Let's get in. But He gonna put some things in front of you where you think that. And, oh, He fasted for forty days and He was tempted, but did He fall? Mm. Like you got like you gotta outthink these niggas. You wanna last, you gotta outthink these niggas. Put it like this, everybody is a podcast. would will set you apart. Mm. You gotta outthink these niggas. You no, gotta no. outwork these niggas. No, you gotta be the dream. You got to eat it, sleep it, but you can't let these you can't let nobody know your next move. Nobody knows what I got coming up in the next couple of weeks. You said that Nobody ever knew my moves. That's that's I mean, that's that's honorable. Yeah. I feel like in today, like you said, today's people don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. today's age is like they want to do whatever they gotta do to make it to the top. Yeah, that's why I always see people. Why these girls are twerking? Just I'm just like, hey. And when you say that I don't wish bother I could twerk. you, I wish I wanna I want that some of that to weigh on me because it doesn't bother me because to be honest, it doesn't bother me because I am seeing success, right? Yeah. I think I would be lying if I said if I even. I'll be lying now if I don't say sometimes it does bother me because it's like but certain why? things I'm not going to do. I'm about to dig it. I'm about to pick your brain. Why does it bother you? Because, again, it hurt. And I could be transparent. Why does it hurt? It doesn't, again, it, it's, it's not something that, it's not something that affects me, right, outwardly. Like, because I'm going to do my thing regardless. But I will be lying to say if it's not times where I'm in a house, like, I'm like, man, it gets harder. It, you don't it think I'll be in the house and be like, why do I got these goddamn kids? I'll be seeing girls without kids running around. I'll be like, ooh. And I'll be like, damn, I want to run around. Damn, everybody twerks and then they sell millions of albums. I wish I could have did that. But that's what I, that's the that's the But it don't make me mad. I'll be like, that's not my road. But you have those feelings sometimes. That's and that's I really the, don't. That's what I'm, it's that's natural human behavior to be like, damn, I wonder if I did, but it, it wouldn't have worked for me. That's why I ain't do it. Mm-hmm. So you know what fuels me is just like before I let it upset me because it takes more energy to get upset than it does to smile. Mm. Before I let it upset me, I'm like, Shh. you you know me people I could sing the f- better than that's got every award in the book, but I don't know what they had to compromise. And that's that was written in their cards for them. Mm. But with me, I'm just like, hey, whatever's for me is for I got to the point where whatever's for me is for me. But I'm out think like to me, there's nobody and then I surround my behind the scenes team out thinks all of these niggas. I think it takes more energy to be happy than upset. Why? Because you gotta choose to be happy. I feel like to be happy. If I could, I could be like a smile, and be like I could be thinking of my kid. But for me to get upset, you have to. It causes a a boiling. You have to really and then to go physically attack somebody that takes energy. What do you know. do when you happy? What do you do? You sit there. You be like, yo, I'm just laughing. You know the but, reason why I got this place. You know what? I watched the Joker three times a day with Joaquin Phoenix. People like that. You're weird. I was like, no. If y'all would have just left him the f- alone, he was fine. As mm. soon as he was without, he got angry, and then you saw the real him come out. But all that shit was in his mind. All of that shit is in your but mind. Think about it. Think about it. If somebody disrespects you right now, the easiest oh, thing we, to be oh, like, oh, we stepping, right? But the harder thing is, 
Cause I didn't shed tears when I had to like bite the bullet and be That's the bigger okay. man. That hurt, being happy hurts. I think it's but your blessing that. comes from biting that bullet. Not for sure. For that sure. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I don't want to fail no more tests. For sure. Nah, for sure. Facts. No, seriously. I'm going. I'm about to show you how to win. Let me ask you this then. Arriving here, cause I like I see the growth. Again, I just did mad research and shit like that, so I can see the growth. Mm -hmm. Many people might not see the growth, but I was curious. I swear to God, I was watching the interview. I was like, I'm gonna ask her this question. It's gonna sound crazy. But outside of everything they teach us, right? They say 18, 21. From your experience, how long does it take to really grow up? I'm still growing up. Mm. I'm still childish. Like, I was with my kids the other day doing, like, TJ was like, Ma, you look weird. You're old. I'm like, no. But not that, but like, really, like. To mature? Yeah. How, how, at what? Can you put an age on it? No. Mm. Because I'm being serious here because I know that this is going to reach somebody and million people might watch it and one person might be affected by it mm. might some people oh she up there looking weird you know why i want to hear that shit, but you listen thank you mm. like you feel me so it's just like nobody ever grows up mm. I, I just think that you just get to a point where you're you just get you just i'm not doing that no more i saw a meme that said if you still fighting you can't be around me like y'all niggas i was like oh y'all still fight we shooting niggas no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> like who fights like what i said we strapped no i'm just saying like because this is like who for i don't have time in my face like you might hit me in my face and then my tooth might fall like nah we shooting niggas so what happened i just walking away you're right i'm i'm curious i'm just asking i'm not just i'm not turning my back nigga might ch nah i've been attacked but i'm not gonna put like the reason why i can say is just like you can't, I can't control what's going to happen in the next second. God, only God knows. Mm -hmm. I firmly believe that. But my expectation is once we're done with this interview, I'm going to get in that car. I'm going to take my ass home. Mm. I know who's in the, I know who's outside. I'm not going there mm. because I know what type of energy it attracts. Mm. So it's a, that energy. At first I was like, I don't want to be no energy. All y'all do is sit around positive vibes. Out here. Nobody wear that you weirdo. You just eat salads and you you don't wear deodorant. You stink, nigga. But then I got to the point where I was just like, now look at me, just eating salads and saying positive vibes. Now I got to the point where it's just like, I'm tired. I was. I literally. This is when you grow. When you're just tired of being around foolishness. Mm. Because when you're around it, you become it. Mm. So what they say, if you're around nine niggas that's broke, you. I don't care how much when you bound to be broke, because they're gonna drain you of your energy. So you have money, but you won't be happy. Mm. I know a lot of millionaires that can't get sleep at night and and, and job walking on eggshells because they don't know if they're gonna walk and then die in the toilet, child. Mm. And then I know some people that that probably need to borrow twenty dollars, but will come in here and light up this whole room. Nice. You feel me? So it's just like you don't never really grow up. You mature by the people you're around. You're around childish niggas. You bound to be childish niggas. I'm around people all the time. All we do is we be on joke time, mm -hmm. but that's not for everybody. Let me. So when was the last time you looked back, right? And mm -hmm. what what at what per, period of life was it when you look back, right? Today's age, you mm -hmm. look back and like, damn, I'm so glad I came out of that. Right after the pandemic. Once I stopped, once I stopped taking perks, I was like, I'm glad I came out of that. Mm. That, that's when I said I gotta grow up. Mm. But was it right after, or was it like, how long did it really like, take you to mature out of that? What's this? Twenty twenty three. Like four years. It took four years that even when you stopped after you stopped. Mm -hmm. Cause you still wanted like, what? What? Who said that? Dirt? Like, or one of them said like, the the it like the body still wanted, but it's like nah, mm -hmm. we ain't doing that. I. I got too comfortable and I know what happened to me before. I'm not going back down that road. It's crazy because, like, if I can, I, I was, as me doing my research, right, mm -hmm. I was looking at this Breakfast Club interview. Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, I wonder, like, I would, in my mind, I'm like, the first thing I think is, like, it seemed like she's still hurt here. Because mm -hmm. I think you were talking about, like, growing past the relationship and things like that. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I'm like, it just sounds like it's still so much hurt there. Mm hmm. And I wanted to ask you that, just being honest, just being transparent. Which one? Which interview I think was, it was that? The... Well, did I have on a black fur and I kept on blowing fur out my mouth? All right, let me see. Because it probably was somebody that owed me money, and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, man. You were talking nigga. about, of course, you were talking about, because at that time you had just got out of a relationship. The guy I probably box. was out of it, but, you know what I mean? It, it was some weird, it was a lot of weird stuff going on, and I could talk to the Breakfast Club because I know them personally. Yeah, for sure. I, my kids go to envy them like that's my family yeah, you said that so i i can't i can open up to them but let me see which one it is I'm gonna see, I'm because see. it was one i was looking at, i was like god i was skied up like i knew i took a perk and drank some hot tea so i could go in there teed up i think it was like uh 2019 was mm -hmm. i by myself yeah you was by yourself did jessica dime come in 
Because I haven't been there in a while. Yeah, it was a while ago. Um, I need to go back, y'all. Let, got... let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think it was. I'll tell you. It might have been this one right here. Let Is that see. the first? Is that the first? Yep. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I think it was like, what, three years ago, four years ago? That was like, like right four, before the pandemic. Matter of fact, that was, that was during the pandemic because I remember we had to get COVID tested for a week. Yeah, it was like four years ago. Yeah, 2019. What was going, what was, like, if you look back at that mo, mm -hmm. what would you say? I will be like, see, now I look at me now, it's just like, girl, like, I didn't have to put myself through that. Mm. But I was like, I ain't going to jail. So, honestly... I think I don't want anybody to do. My grandmother say, "Don't do drugs," and I was mm. like, "God damn!" I was outside, like I thought I was a, like I really thought I was a rock star, like. But that was after it, though, right? Like you. Had that was five. like the that was like the end of it. So your body still like people think that oh I'm gonna stop I'm gonna I've been clean. like nah your body if you if I was doing that shit if I was ten for. How's my for like twenty years? Cause I first started taking perks like a little bit before my daughter's about to be twenty one, so I started getting like addicted to them because I was getting them from my doctor to help with pain from childbirth. Then when you start buying, you like I don't want to feel no I didn't want to feel nothing for twenty years. Mm. So if that wasn't yeah. So even when you speaking about stop when you're speaking about not doing it, you're still doing it at that time. It was like. Toned down. Yeah, it wasn't like 30s. It probably was like some little oxy cold on, little little something. Because if not, your body, like I knew once I got off the grid, like you literally have to go to hell. Damn. You literally. I don't wish that. Like I don't never want to feel that again. What was, Ever. What was like the hardest part about it? <sighs> mm, the mental part. Because your body still want your body still be like like your body still craves certain things like people that because like that's a mania so it was like people they call it an addict but i thought i was like a perco maniac it was just like for me to start my day with like my certain shot i was like then i looked at it, i was like jesus the receipts but i was like i got the money hmm. well now i think about like oh my god do you know what i could have had i could have been on the boat next to diddy in miami hmm. god damn it like now i look back i was like yo you was wow but I had to go through that to grow through that. Like, that shit is real. Do you think a lot of that, because, again, we was even talking to us, and we didn't want to go through the exact questions, but I was curious. Mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of that had an effect on your reactions or how you acted in your relationship, the one that was really bad? I never even acted like anything in my relationships. Now that I think about it, because I didn't care. But do you think that impacted your relationship? It just made me like, oh, okay, this, like my son came to me like, mom, this is dad's cheating on you. So that's when we did on Love and Hip. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Hey, uh, Mona, um, da -da -da -da, we sat down, had a meeting, and we made a scene about it. Mm. So you try to hurt me, I'm gonna get some money. Mm. Now you try to hurt me. I hope you got life insurance because we coming. Mm. Like you're not allowed to hurt me anymore that way. Damn. So that's why I. Like it's it's a whole process. So I'll give you the politically correct answer. It's like, nah, you don't know, give me the politically. I don't want. I just that. like, yo, like, honestly, niggas should have played when I was on drugs. Cause now that I'm sober, we coming. Don't play with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of them. Cause it seemed like even then it, it hurt a lot. Like the abuse. You don't feel anything. Yeah, like you don't feel you off a perk. Somebody yank your whole braid out your fucking head or yank your whole wig off, and you run out of a hotel, setting off the fire alarm, everybody going, and you playing off like, what's going on? And, Bitch, you did it. Mm. It happens. So that's why when I see people going through Sahari, like, I hope they make it out. I made it out. Mm. I know some people just, like, literally, but they love the lifestyle. So they will, they will literally get, I ain't never had shit beat out of me. I heard some people getting their ass beat and shit came out. Mm. Now, that's crazy. I, I went back to that because uh, so many things was intriguing about that. Because, like, first of all, I see your Scorpio. My my girl is a Scorpio. Oh yeah, I'm a Gemini and oh Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Why do you say oh Jesus? Because Gemini is what? Yeah, what? It's two of y'all. Uh, it's two of you. you ain't it's a hundred of me. Right. So that's not fair to say. It yeah, I know it's a hundred of me. I know I got multiple personalities, but it just depends on like everybody don't get to see that. Mm. That's why I was looking at it. I'm like, sheesh, like yeah, man, like y'all could. Like, now Scorpios, like everybody I know, is a Scorpio be turned. 
and they really be like, we just different. I feel like an immature Scorpio. I'm gonna just say immature, right? An immature Scorpio is like it was. It might be a Scorpio thing. Like if you heard a Scorpio, bro, like that tail thing, like the get back is real. Yeah. The thing I don't like. And what's it. crazy is we don't even have to touch you. You gonna take this L. You gonna feel it. That's crazy. You, That's life. You, you you still like that? Yes. So what? what at what point? But I'm in my soft girl. Uh, I was about to say. At what point do you be like? You know what? I'm gonna walk away. When somebody tell you it. you ain't gotta be like that no more. And they what? mean it. When someone it comes in your life and tells you, you don't have to be that way. You don't. Because mm. my mama did. That's not how I was raised. I had to literally apologize to my whole family because I was like, like I know they saw, and they never judge me. People, family, be writing them off, be doing weird stuff. Like, do you see people's moms getting on the internet? And my son, I would never do that to my kid. So what do you think the term was? Because you had, your parents as preachers. They still are. Right, your parents are preachers. Yeah. And they was together the whole the whole, the whole time they was with My you. My parents about to be married about a hundred years. Right. So yeah. where did it? Because you had five kids. Uh, yeah. Is it all about the same or no? I've been married. It's kind of like yeah, multiple times, right? Yep. It's like kind of the opposite. Where did the the turn go? The turn went when I remember I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, what made me like wild out and do so? When somebody told me you're such a daddy's girl, you're gonna just always listen to your dad. Then I realized I listened to somebody that didn't even have a dad. Mm. So I was trying to be rebellious, like, oh my God, I'm not a goody. People say you're a goody two shoes. You don't do nothing. Da da da. da. You oh, okay? Watch this. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean? like Usher, watch this. Mm -hmm. And I tee up everything that was child. But at the end of the day, I never lost myself, mm -hmm. and that's a blessing because I see some people that have lost their self, and I'm just like, wow, like they like there's some people like I still look. I think I look better now look than good. before you I came up. Like, I look better now than when I first came out. I be looking at pictures like, where was my eyebrows? But there's some people I be like, they look like what they've been through. Mm. Yo, you said, and I think the Tank interview was like, yo, you always like played it bigger than what you were because you were short. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even when, when Missy calls you, like, you wanted to sound big. Yeah, everybody thought I was going to be tall. Did that affect any part of it? Like, I feel like that, it sounds good on the surface, but I'm trying to go deeper than that. Like, mm -hmm. did that affect any of your relationships? What, me being short? No, wanting to be big, like, in a personality. Just wanting to be bigger. I I just have a big personality. I never wanted to be taller, bigger, uh, wider. I never <laughs> wanted none of that. But it was just like, like, I'm literally the Scorpio that be like, so, like, I'm the person, you know how people be like, yo, because when we get there, with, I'm going to be like, remember you said when we get there, we tearing all this shit up? I'm going to go and be like, let's go. Let's tear it up. Yeah, right. like, the, like, don't get me all, like, don't get me all hyped up. Because I tell people, once I get hyped, you're not going to be able to call me down. You have to get my dad on the phone. Mm. For, for real. So it's just like, I've always had a big personality. I would say my downfall is, is it had nothing to do with my relationships. I had no business being in those relationships anyway. That's because I didn't know who I was. So respectfully, my children, like, that's honestly all I wanted. I never really wanted to be with those oh, child let me get let me get to gossiping child like i i was just like what was i thinking we should have just been friends matter of fact you should have just smiled and waved mm. but now that i know who i am and it has nothing to do with little mo i i asked that because like me and my girl have been together for five years right and we've been through like some stuff you're supposed to like real toxic stuff once you, you pass the fifth year yeah, so like I was gonna say, like we went through some stuff, like some some things we shouldn't have been through. What did I'm you not do? Really proud to do. What did you do? What I do? Scorpios oh, I don't lie. do anything. I know. Is that Scorpios don't do anything? We don't. Oh my god, this is crazy. Female Scorpios don't do anything. Don't do nothing. Do no. nothing. And, and it's unbelievable. Okay. Or everything I love. We could never have this conversation then, because you yeah. don't do anything. No, it's like. You can't be like, yo, these niggas, I can't stop these niggas from wanting to holler at me. It's not what they say to me. It's what I respond to. But the fact that your answer is we can't do nothing, is that's just a joke. That's just for entertainment purposes only. No, it's. I bet you can't name three things that your girl did that she'd be like, I should have walked away. One. I, I can name a, a few. Name one. I'm not going to do it right here. Just name one. I can name what I did. That she probably should have walked away. Just name one thing she did. I can't say what she did. I can say what I did, but that's the thing. You, see, you, I can you, say what I did. You're jotting. You, 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 you're trying to divert. Name one thing she did. Bro. Watch this. Just name one thing. I'm not going to do that. I could put me out there. I'll put me out there. That's that's just respect. That don't have nothing to do with me. Nobody nothing. knows your girl's name. I don't no, even know who she not, is. I have a podcast she could be... my girl. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm like, it's, but even that's just respect. Like, I like. All right, so name one thing you did. I cheated. Who don't cheat? What? Men, let me tell you something. Men, 
I was told at a young age, men were meant to procreate. So it's naturally in your system to, do you see what they used to do in the older days? How many wives them niggas had? How many kids they had? They beget whole nations. So to think that your man is going to be monogamous to just you and not even look, that don't mean you, see, cheating has nothing to do with sex. That's just the actual finalization that this nigga was out here. The mind, you thought it first and then you actually acted on it. So what made you think outside of like, dad, like she really rotted. She does no wrong. She's a Scorpio. She got my back. These, if y'all been together five years, y'all survived the pandemic. You can't name one thing that she did wrong, but you said you cheated. And that's not even, that's not even like, I'd be like, okay, that's a given. Mm. That's crazy that you said that's a given. Cause like I did it one time and like, it was really on some childish stuff. Cause I was hurt. My feelings was hurt. Like, I like, so when you say that's a given, I don't know. Like I ain't, I'm not these niggas. A nigga, a nigga cheating or Stepping out, don't ever make the female mad. If you take this bitch to get something to eat or give her a couple of dollars, I'm gonna fuck your whole life up. Oh, yeah, I ain't never do that. That way. I ain't never do that. You way. be like, yo, did you take that bitch to get, I don't even care. Like, niggas be like, I didn't buy that bitch a french fry, say less. And if you took her to Starbucks, it's up for you. But some and girl, a, some girl <laughs> still, like, she was hurt about that cheating shit. She ain't. Because. And it took a while to get over that. Like, years. It's, that she's was not, like. And she's not over it because it's just like, dad, like why he, do I'm going to tell you as a Scorpio woman, it's like, why would you do that to me? I don't do nothing. But you don't think I could think the same thing? Like, why would you do that to me? Yeah. You don't think I could think the same thing? You just sit up here and say, we don't do nothing. That's young. crazy. Y'all are young. Imagine if I was saying, we don't do nothing. Cheating is nothing. That's a given. How, how old is she? She, 32. And so if y'all been together five, you, she not even, wait till she become a cougar. Then you really going to, no, I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, that, anyway, I was. I, I said that to say, I felt like even now, looking back on this, a lot of things, we, we situations we should have never been in, right? Yeah. And I think the time really helped us grow through that, right? And I was yeah. wondering, do you think in any of the situations, you said I shouldn't have been with him, do you think you wasn't with him long enough to really get over that and learn? Or None of my marriages lasted past six years. That's what I'm saying. But did, is it is it the fact that I didn't have enough time to really grow through myself, grow through what I was going through? Right? Like, is it like, what about you? Right? Not about, I shouldn't even been with him. But, because I'm like, yo, five years, I'm like, yo, I'm looking back on things. And yeah, if I would, we should have quit two years ago. It was toxic. It was bad. But now it's five years in, and I'm like, yo, I'm glad we she did. She ever stabbed here. you? She ain't stabbed me. She, some, she did some things, though. I stabbed my, um, one of my husbands. She did some My ex husband. But I'm mad. And he's a Scorpio, too. Because he did, it wasn't the fact that he cheated. When I saw, I was like, you had that. On the bed that my daughter lays on when she come here, you're done. But I'm saying, do, yeah. you, do you think you didn't have enough time then, with the people? Was it just... I'll be like, baby, on. I'm only here for a little while, not a long time. I'm Yo. here for a good time. Yo. I ain't Kevin. That was the old me. That was childish. I matured. Mm. Like, now I'm just like, I'm here forever. And whoever want to come between that, if they ready to die, they better have their money up. Because mm. some people can't even afford to die. Let's get in. Mm. That's a fact. So you do think so? So you do think then you ain't give enough time? Is it safe to say that? I gave him too much time. Six years, I ain't five. You said nothing. Your marriage lasted six years. I got two kids by my two kids by each. That's too much time. And all my kids is like two and a half, three years apart. That's too much time. Like, bro. <laughs> like it now it gets like I hit in New York. Yeah, nah, <laughs> it's like bro. <laughs> like crazy. that's too much time. Cause one time my sister was like, "You can't." This is when I knew. Like, I was just doing stuff, and I must have been inebriated, intoxicated, or just, like, being weird. My sister was like, you can't possibly love mm. this person that much. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Mm. And I had to tighten up. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, what, did, looking at radio, you said, like, it was nothing. Like, it was, it no, it was fun. a fun time. It's real political. A lot of people yeah. think you just get on there. And coming up in three minutes, we have the song by Chris Brown. Like, it's not that. You haven't me. I remember I used to be like, why, why am driving this far to come to this meeting y'all could have texted me that yo wait what happened this i don't know if you talk about this what happened what? with the the last time not the 10 105 x 105 what happened with the was it ky radio one what you happened know, well i'm asking you what happened with radio? oh when i had got fired yeah i just asked myself nigga i should drive down here every day to dc from philly three hours there three hours back for a year that's why you got fired first they said they was going a different direction then i was took Niggas is smoking the head clear. <laughs> I don't know what type of shit they smoking, but whatever. What? Whatever it is, I want to puff. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then it was just like it just got to the point where I don't like. I really I I don't know what happened. All I just know that I was told that they was going a different direction and that that was it because I wasn't always on time. 
Mm. But they don't like who knows? Radio can do that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, radio it, it, I, it's I, I, weird. Like you can literally have a show with somebody and they can come in and say, All right, now we're gonna split y'all up. You just like, what? Like the color purple, Maki Dotage? It is what it is. Why but what like you did radio at, 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 at I was pregnant with my first daughter. She'll be twenty one in August. That was when you did 10, X101. 1057. I had no discography, no radio history, just used to fill in New York. And um the admission that runs Power 105 that get does all of the shows in New York for um Clear Channel. I thought I was like, I want to do radio. Because I used to fill in for like Angie Martinez, Funk Flex, Star and Buck. Um, I would come down, I would and fill New York, in. Right? Yeah. yeah. And she was just like, All right, I was like, um, I want to do afternoon drive because I I was um taking a hiatus from the industry because I was pregnant with my daughter at the time. So I was like, this would be a good way for me to number one show. What happened with X105 though? They had turned back to uh, talk radio. Talk radio makes a lot. Now look, podcast. Facts. Nobody don't, nobody really want to hear. They used to say talk less, play more music. Then it was getting like ratings were so high. Then you start playing a lot of commercials. Nobody want to hear that. First thing you see when you're on YouTube, it come up a commercial, what you want to do? Skip ad. Mm. We don't have that luxury. That's why I think radio is dwindling because we don't have that luxury to skip ad. That's why every radio station they have an app. You yeah, feel that's me? That's nostalgic because I remember I remember vividly remembering when X one hundred five came out and it was competing with ninety two Q. Competing, we won. No, just that was fired. Like, that was that... fired because there was no other um, black stations in the in that region. So for us to come from, I think it was sports radio, talk radio, to go straight to. Um, it was CHR. Mm. So CHR is crossover hit radio. So we was already like, it, that means we had a budget. No, just So mm. it's like to come into a city where 92 Q is the number one radio station, black radio station, but that's what power one Oh five honestly did to like hot 97. The underdog came in and they figured out, okay, that's what y'all doing over there. This is how we're going to pass y'all. But then it came to a point. Um, they had, yeah, went back to talk, Like People came into work and they told, we switch. They they have the power to say we switching back. To I, ain't gonna lie, I feel like radio. Your team is saying it's time to go. Like God damn, I'm thinking we got. Time. Oh, what time is it? It's uh seven thirty. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm like shit. <laughs> I'm, my bad. I'm like, oh yeah, because like we got another poll. Oh Jesus! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Last, I'm wrap it up. Wrap it up. Child, thought it was like six forty five. No lie. Was, was good. My bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Oh I'm God. Like, that's all I wanted to say. Let let them know we we good. I, my bad. Last thing. Do you feel like the radio, the TV, everything that you did outside of music? Do you feel like that got in the way of when it comes to your legacy because you said I jumped back in to get my respect. It never got in the way because mm. I'm not just a singer. Like I said, I'm everything. I did radio because I used to watch Martin. Mm -hmm. So I had a number one show just because I was just like, you got to outthink. Uh, they will put the paper in front of me. I'm not saying that. I'm going to say it my way because I know what I always knew that radio they said is the theater of the mind people don't see you but you got to make them believe you you mm. have to make them feel something so i was doing what other people was doing like we used to do so much wild stuff we would do all the celebrities was, was my friend so i would call them up on the phone we would just be I'm like like we would just do everything different every friday we would either have a concert on on the air or do something wild or we would be like and come into the we would make it up like the Lyric Opera House. Mama, I fried my chicken and I think I'm pregnant and my baby daddy's locked up. Starring. So we used to just do, just wow out. So you don't think that like made made the vision a little blurry for the when it comes to legacy? No. No, because we was number one. So let me ask you this then. Now everybody wants me in their radio station, but I said no. Coming full circle then. Yeah. You said it in the beginning. We're going to end with it. How does, what does respect look like then? If you came into it, you came back into it to get your respect you deserve. What does that look like? How 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 if it if it, it was up to you, how would that look? Look at me. This is called respect. Mm. Ain't got nothing to do with money. I can't walk up in the White House and say what's up. I might not ever get to the White House, but the fact that people from this generation, people from my generation, and literally everything now is just like. People are giving it to me. I didn't even ask for y'all niggas gonna respect me. You gonna respect no no but then they definitely not. But the fact that I sit back and then I just like started seeing people like, yo, we never really gave you our flowers. Because you know what I realized too? So many people were leaving or getting sick. So many things happened and we were like, Dad, we never really got a chance. Once you're gone, that's it. Mm. Give people their flowers while they can smell them. So the fact that people are like 
that are in their twenties and young. I'm like, my son is old. How do you know? They was like, cause my mom. So I respect that. And the reason why I came back from my respect, because I had to re-respect myself mm. so people would take me serious. Because then, it, like, it was a time people were like, yo, she running around here. Like, I read the comments. I listen, you run around with these nut-ass niggas. Do you know who you are? Mm. So if you want to know what respect like, look like, it look like this. Because I'm not going to accept anything less than what I expect. Mm. That was fire. And it ain't got nothing to do with money. Like, trust me. Trust me, cause I be seeing people. I was like, wait, so y'all really paying people because they have a million followers on Instagram to come to the club and do nothing, but y'all want me to come for the same amount and sing three songs? Out of here, price going up. Mm. Because I know, certain, like, I'm gonna have to get out there and work. I'm not gonna just be able to get y'all camera phones out, turn around, bounce it two for two minutes, and then leave out. Like they be want me to work. So if you want me to work, then I had to really get to the point where I stopped accepting all offers. Now that I've got to the point where I can say no, that will make people respect you more. Because I was talking to somebody the other day. They was like, why would people want to come see you at an arena if they just saw you at the club? Mm, facts. So you really have to, you want people to respect you? Change your environment. Change your circle. Everything around you got to be elevated. If it don't go up, what you think it's going to dig? Mm. Stay in the middle? Stay stagnant. What drop. they say mid? Oh, that's mid. Ain't nothing to f- mid over here. Mm. Put me on the tour. I'm going to tee up every time you put, like, yo. I like that. That way. That was hard, man. This is great. This is a great conversation. Thanks Thank for you. Yeah, yeah you talk my head off, child. No, I'm just going <laughs> to no, it's cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love it when they say I talk too much. It's good. That's what it's supposed to do. Yo, uh, for the people that don't know, uh, I guess, let them tap into your Instagram and all that, man, for the people that don't know. At the Lil Mo Show. T H E L I L M O S H O W, and it's really me. Um, it is, it is her. I used to comment back to everybody, but one of my people that runs a major, but I was like, Stop, th- that's what she, somebody told me. Don't let your legacy become a comment section. You going at it at people in the comment section. Mm. I tightened up. I was like, y'all see it? Y'all care? They was like, yeah. because then people said, look what Mo has said. Mm. I was like, it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. You know what I mean? So you still running your Instagram? Yeah. I'm not letting nobody, because I used to try to let people run, and they be trying to get work. Like, wait a minute. I didn't tell nobody to call that number. Child, remember? Mm. Yeah. So you gonna, uh, can I get a follow back? I said I followed you. Hell no. Where her Instagram at? Give her a phone, please. Give her the phone, child. That's the That was the, you see how I. I'm going to do like my daughter. <laughs> you you see daughter. how I, I, <laughs> No, somebody asked my daughter. They was like, why you don't follow me? She blocked them. My daughter's Sheesh, ambitious. That's crazy. And that's her own brother. <laughs> Why you don't follow me? She blocked me. Child, let me see. I was unfollowing. Follow Cause then it made me follow people. I was like, who is this lady? Nah, that was you see you see the build up there? You see how I just build that up? Like, let me get my follow, bro. All right, what's your um It's M R underscore J A Y. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Gang, appreciate it. Yeah, that was um that was a great conversation for real. I make think sure, make sure you don't follow him as soon as we leave. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, kidding. Say, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm cool. just kidding. It's cool. It's cool. No, but, but I, my page be shadow banned. So like people be like, I was hitting you up, and I'm like, there be times I'll get like 400 likes. Then there'll be sometimes that be at 300,000. I'm like, wait a minute. So I don't be knowing like half the time. Then it had me fo- it had me following. So I'm like, yo, who the f- is this? <laughs> like you feel me? I was like, nah. No, I appreciate it, man. No Jay, problem. Listen. I appreciate the conversation. Lil Mo, J Hill, J Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out. That was great, man.